ensuring fire safety of buildings and structures is one of the urgent problems being solved today. In the process of ensuring said safety, a wide spectrum of specialists is involved, engineers, designers, installers, operators, risk management personnel, etc. Today, the main approach is a so-called risk-oriented approach, aimed at minimizing the value of individual fire risk, or, maximizing the safety of people in residential and public buildings and structures. It would be more correct to consider this model as dynamic, as in need of constant improvement. To accurately evaluate the specific solution's effectiveness, it is necessary to choose evaluation methods and compile a list of expected effects, as well as expected losses. Making the appropriate decisions while performing these operations is supported by knowledge of certain technical solutions features. Using statistics let's calculate the risk for the best year, 2020. Russia's population in 2020 is 146 million people. Number of injured people by fire is 9,565 people. And the risk equals 6,551370E05. We can draw the conclusion that the risk is 65 times higher than acceptable. Let's turn to formula, that defines the FPS structure, and allows to calculate such parameters, as reliability and structural significance of the system. The structural significance of the system can be defined as the result of differentiation, by opening the brackets and differentiating, for example, relative to RENS we can define the ENS structural significance in the FPS structure. Substituting statistical data from Table 1, we get, BENS equals 0,35. The results show that the most significant system is fire alarm system which is evident on the fact that this system is responsible for fire detection. The most usefulness is provided by SCS, however, it has the lowest reliability. ENS, on the other hand, having the lowest usefulness, has a high reliability. When calculating reliability, making technical specifications, we can rely on statistics of effective operation of ENS from 2013 to 2020. The graph shows that the ENS reliability varies from 80 to 88 percent, in which, from 8 percent to 14 percent, because of malfunction, and from 3 percent to 7 percent, because of not working. Let's draw the dependencies of FPS from probability of ENS operation with these constant parameters, RFOS equals RSPS equals 80 percent. Figure shows probability of FPS activation, calculated with formula, 3 and with constant RFOS equals RSPS equals 80% and with raised RENS from 80% to 100%, PFP increased from 87% to 93%. At the same time the real effectiveness with the same parameters increases only from 77% to 80%. Using obtained result, we can draw a dependency of individual risk, formula, 1, from methodology, 1 from a probability of FPS effective operation with the following constant parameters, we are ready to draw the first and important conclusion, switching ENSs type I2 to ENSs of higher type, 3 and 4, risk goes back to normal. Therefore, one of the most important events to minimize the risk is to use higher type ENSs. Depending on the problem being solved, reliability and effectiveness of FPSs can be controlled. FPS reliability depending on risk can be evaluated, calculated, based on required value of individual fire risk using formula. Paper shows significance of the FPS in two aspects, reliability and structural reliability. Individual fire risk value can be minimized by several parameters, including FPS reliability, that depends, firstly, on effectiveness of structural construction, and only secondly, on reliability of its subsystems. Reliability of a subsystem, ENS for example, is not self-sufficient on its own. 